All right. Waistband. <laughs> I have to take it all off the... Uh... You already marked it. Yep. Thank you. It's all marked. You got to be careful because, again, you got these multi-sized lines and they get like crazy. So take this away. There's the pattern, three pieces. Move this. I want the center. Now put this on top of it, center to center. Line up my notch. Now, I want to start in the middle again and work my way out. Adhering the interface. Okay. Oh, you know what I forgot to mark? Fold line. And get rid of that. So that one. And then this end. We'll do that one. So now the fold line. That's the one thing I forgot. Okay, so now we've got this. The first thing I want to do is serge the unnotched edge. Just get that out of the way. When I do this, we're done with the surgery. Okay. So now we have to match it to the pants in the proper spots. Unzip the zipper because we're going to sew through it and line it up notch to notch. So this notch goes there, but for some reason that's not right. Let me start in the center. Something went wrong. Find my center mark. There it is. Line it up to center back and let's work our way around. Here's my side seam mark. Where is it? There. Okay, that's reaching perfectly. There's my notch, and I almost have nothing. So because of that, I just need it to stick off that much. Was there some easing that's supposed to take place, or I don't know? <laughs> I'll show you how to fix that. I just need that much to stick off. Okay, side seam to side seam here. All right, so here's how I'm going to fake it. I got a little, the tab, this was supposed to be there, okay? So it's not quite the way it's supposed to be. So I just need to make sure it fits all the way around now. So now that I've seen that I've marked everything and it fits, now I'm going to squeeze it back. So what I'm doing is pushing some excess back to the other side because as you see there's nothing, there's no intersection happening there. So I'm going to just push it and make it fit. I've never had this happen in class. It happens at home all the time. Because I just cut a big rectangle out for a waistband at home too long and just cut it off. But I need more to sew on this end. So as I push it forward, now the notch doesn't match. And now, see, I've got a good 5 8 to work with on there. Maybe it was on you. Maybe it was just a pattern. It could be, but they're <laughs> usually right. And I say usually. I've, I've caught them making mistakes. And let me tell you, when I do, they hear about it. Because I want my pattern free. 
All right, so now it's very imperative that I sew a clean 5 eighths of an inch from the edge. Because this now determines where these two, same as the skirt, they need to meet evenly. I also need to have my finger in here making sure that not uh, darts are pointing the correct direction and that they don't flip and that seam allowances stay open, okay? Checking that to see that it's open. <coughs> Same amount of open. Now these need to go that way, so I have to pay attention to them. careful to make sure they're lined up. All right, pull out the pins. And the first test you do is to pull the zipper up and make sure that every seat uh, needs to come together evenly, okay? Very important. Now we can cut off all this excess zipper, get all the pins out, and now I want to press all this up. This is the same as when you made the skirt now. Absolutely no different. One thing we might want to do, if Jasmine is available, it'd be nice to have her try them on now. Because if there's a problem, now's the time to fix it. Once we start closing all this up, it's more of a major ordeal to repair anything. So someone want to go grab her and see if she's there? Thanks, Elisa. Oh, are you going? Oh, okay. <laughs> While Lisa's doing that, I'll go get the um, 